Hello everyone, welcome back to Zoom Cellular YouTube channel. Let's continue with our lesson for IGCSE Chemistry Chapter 4, Formula and Equations. Before further ado, let's look into our study outline for Chapter 4. Our study outline consists of deducing formula, describe about the use of combining power with hydrogen of different atoms, and a few examples, deducing formula from diagram, which is deriving formula from diagram, and example, deducing formula of ionic compound, describe about the positive and negative ion joined together by ionic bond, seven examples related to ionic compound, construct equation with state symbol, Chemical equation, which is described about the type of chemical reactive, how much the difference elements chemical are reactive, and finally, balance chemical equation, step balancing chemical equation, and exam question. And in this topic, we may use a few empirical formula, which show only the simplest ratio of the constituent elements in the compound, and also structural formula this also show how the atoms are born in a molecule. Let's look into deducing formula. Deducing formula is this theory is based on the use of combining power with hydrogen, valency of different atoms. First, you need to remember this periodic table of the number of atoms. Let's recall chapter three, Elements and Compound, Lesson Part 1, title the position the first 20 elements in the periodic table where the second or third shells hold the number of electrons which determine the position of elements in the periodic table. In this example, we take aluminium. So the question asks you to find what is the formula of aluminium sulfide. So how to get the answer? So before you try to get the answer, you need to understand that uh, aluminum is in group 13 of the periodic table. The third shell holds three electrons. Therefore, aluminum must be in the group of three in this table. So you can see below aluminum, there is a value of three. Likewise, sulfur is actually is a group 16 in the periodic table. And the third shell holds six, ele six electrons. And therefore, reference to this table, combining power, six means that it takes up a value of two. So you can see sulfur carry a value of two. Next, you have to swap the number. So that's why you get this formula AL, 2 sulfur 3. So this is the formula by using this combining power with hydrogen valency. Next, we go into the deducing formula from the diagram. From the diagram, you can see 2C, H6, and 1 oxygen. So you get the formula from this diagram is C2, H6, O. And on the other hand, we can see from this diagram, it's only one nitrogen, which is one N, and three H. And finally, we can see that there is a two Al, so two Al, and the chlorine, there is a Cl6. So the formula for this diagram is Al2Cl6. Let's look into the deducing formula from this diagram based on this diagram given. So from here, you can see that there is about 6 and 8 plus 6 Cl minus to form an ACL, whereas in this diagram, there is a 3 Zn2 plus 6 Cl negative to form ZnCl2. So ionic structure contains simple ions, count out each ion and then cancel to the lowest ratio. 
let's look into the reducing formula of ionic compound. So this is as an example list of ions. Ammonia and H4 positive, carbonate CO3 2 negative, copper 2 Cu2 positive, chromium 2 Cr3 positive, hydroxide OH negative, hydrogen carbonate CO3 negative, iron 3 Fe2 positive, silver 1 is Ag positive, sulfate SO4 2 negative. And in this table consists of a list of positive ion. Iron with one positive, example given, lithium, sodium, potassium, copper 1, hydrogen, ammonia. Iron with two positive, magnesium, calcium, barium, copper 2, iron 1, lead. Iron with three positive, aluminium, iron 3, and chromium. Let's look into this table. So, group that is a group 1, group 2, group 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. The charge on an ion is actually related to its position in the periodic table. Example given here, natrium, Na positive. There is, there is only one positive charge ion. Ca2 positive, there is a two positive charge ion. And for aluminium, it's actually in a group 13. So you can see here aluminium with a charge of three positive. And example given here is oxygen. Oxygen is in group 16 in the periodic table. It consists of charge ion 2 negative. Chlorine Cl negative is consists of charge ion 1 negative. And it's actually chlorine belongs to group 17 of the periodic table. Neon. Neon is in group 18 in the periodic table. And no charge ion. Below is a list of negative ion. Ion with one negative. Example given is fluoride, chloride, bromide, nitride, hydroxide, hydrogen carbonate. And ion with two negative is oxide, sulfide, carbonate, sulfate. And ion with the three negative is phosphate and nitrate. This is a sample of the reducing formula of ionic compounds. There is a two rules that you have to remember in an ionic compound, positive and negative ion are joined together by ionic bond. And during formation of ionic compound, the number of positive charge must balance the number of negative charges. We have a two sample here. Example one shows about one positive charge on silver ion is neutralized by one negative charge from chloride ion to form neutral compound called silver chloride. And for example two, magnesium has two positive charges and it needs to be neutralized by two negative charges from two chloride ion and to form a neutral compound called magnesium chloride. There's another example for the deducing formula of ionic compound. So when one of the ion is complete, we need to use bracket to group the atoms. For example, given here is nitrate ion. So nitrate ion, NO3, and in bracket, 2. And same thing goes to here, where you have NH4 bracket 2 SO4. So 4 is actually represent one sulfate ion with two negative charges. And two here is actually represent two ammonia ions are present. And four here is actually indicate two ammonium ions with two positive charges. Let's look into the deducing formula for of ionic compounds. First, you have to remember simplified way to write formula of ionic compound by writing the ions side by side. Number two, the number of the charges on the ion is exchanged with each other. The ions of zinc chloride, we have the N2 positive and Cl negative. So, from here, from this formula, we can see that 
for zinc, they consist of two positive charges and chlorine consists of one negative charges. So during the mutual exchange number, one negative will become one, two positive will become two positive, two. So the number of ion used here, you can see from here, Zn1, one means that we rewrite the formula again, Zn2 positive. Likewise, chlorine, you can see mutual exchange number as a two, so you have to put two in front of Cl negative. So when you transform this into a formula, it becomes ZnCl2. Let's look into example two for the iron of sodium oxide. For the iron of sodium oxide, you have Na positive and O2 negative. So when we bring down to the charges, we can see the Na consists of only one positive and oxygen consists of two negative. So from this, you have to make mutual exchange number whereby one positive will bring down to one and two negative will bring down to the mutual exchange number two. So when we look back, number of iron used for natrium is become two and a positive and oxygen two negative will become oxygen negative. And by consideration number of iron used, we can transform this formula into Na2 and oxygen O. Let's move on to deducing formula of ionic compound. But there is a third example for aluminium sulfate. So aluminium sulfate is Al3 positive and SO4 2 negative. So you can see from this formula, the charges of iron is 3 positive for the aluminium and SO4 2 negative sulfate, we can see the charges is 2 negative. So 3 positive for the mature exchange number will become 3, but for the sulfate, 2 negative will become 2. So the number of iron used for aluminium, 2 will become, we bring down the 2 in front of the, the formula. So you can get, derive the number is 2 Al3 positive, whereas for the sulfate, we get 3 SO4, 2 negative. So when we write the formula for aluminium sulfate, it becomes Al2 in bracket SO4 and close bracket 3. Let's look into example 4 for the ions of magnesium sulfate. So magnesium sulfate, the formula is Mg2 positive and SO4 2 negative. So the charges for the magnesium will be become 2 positive and the sulfate will become 2 negative. Mature exchange number 2 positive will become 2 and 2 negative will become 2. So the smallest ratio will become 2 will become 1 because when we make this, it's already offset 2 positive and 2 negative. That's why the smallest ratio that we can see here is 1. So the number of iron used here, magnesium will become Mg2 positive and sulfate will become SO4 to negative. So when we write down the formula, it's become Mg SO4. Chemical equations. These are the steps. Actually, this presentation try to explain about the step for the chemical equation. Equations are chemical sentences we show type of chemical that are reacting products of reaction, how much of different chemicals are reacting with each other. Number two, N capital A plus M capital B to form P capital C plus Q capital D. So A and B are called reactant. They are substance present before reaction takes place. C and D are product of the reaction has completed. N is the number of mole of A that are reacting with B. And M is the number of mole of B that are reacting with A. So P is the number of mole of C that are formed 
and Q is a number of mole of D in the reaction. When hydrogen react with oxygen, the product is water. Two molecules of hydrogen react with one molecule of oxygen to form two molecules of water. Example given here, two molecules of hydrogen react with one molecule of oxygen to form two molecules of water. Chemical equations show the state of each chemical in the reaction. S represents solid state, L represents liquid state, AQ represents aqua state, and G represents gaseous state. We have the equation here. Three mole of carbon in solid state react with two mole of iron three oxide in solid state. And the product here is four mole of iron in solid state and three mole of carbon oxide in gaseous state. Qualitatively, chemical equation is type of reactant used in reaction and physical condition of reactant and product. Quantitatively, chemical reaction is the quantity of reactant being used and the product that are produced. Both quantities are stated in mole. One mole of metal molecule react with two mole of oxygen, 64 gram, to give one mole of carbon dioxide, 44 gram, and two mole water molecule, 36 gram. Chemical equations are useful because the whole chemical reaction can be represented by just one equation. Chemical equations also help chemists to solve problems related to quantity of reactant used in the reaction and quantity of product form. Balancing chemical equation. First, you have to make sure all reactants and products are in equation. Example given here is iron mixed with sulfur to form iron 2 sulfate. Second, you have to write down symbol or formula of each element of compound involved in reaction. So, for the iron is Fe mixed with sulfur S to form iron 2 sulfate, which is capital F, E and capital S. Balance the equation so that they are exactly the same number of atoms. So left, we have one atom iron. Right, we have one atom iron. And in this case, one atom iron on the right, one atom iron on the left. So Fe is balanced. Left, we have one atom or sulfate. And right atom is also one atom sulfate. So S is balanced. So add a symbol for the state of matter of reactant and product. So we have iron in the form of solid state mixed with sulfur in the form of solid state to form iron to sulfate which is also in a solid state. Please ensure symbol for hydrochloric acid and magnesium chloride are correct. So remember all gases like hydrogen exist as molecule of two atoms except gases such as neon, argon, helium, and etc. So when you refer to this diagram, you have one atom from magnesium and also one atom on the right for magnesium. For magnesium, left balance balances the right. And we have one atom for hydrochloric acid and for the right, we have two atoms for hydrochloric acid. So, in this case, the equation is not balanced. So, left one atom chlorine and right two atom chlorine. So, for chlorine, the left side have one atom of chlorine. But the right side have two atoms of chlorine. Again, the equation is not balanced. So therefore, the problem can be solved by multiplying hydrochloric acid by 2. So from this, if you multiply by 2, HCl will become 2. So now HCl is already 2. And from here, we can see that 
hydrogen is also 2. So, complete the equation by adding state of matter for reacting and product. So, the equation is magnesium plus 2 hydrochloric, which is in the form of aqua, and to form MgCl2 in the form of aquas plus H2 in the form of gases. So, example 2, potassium hydroxide react with sulfuric acid to form potassium sulfate and water. So, the earlier... The earlier formula is KOH plus H2SO4 to, to form K2SO4 plus H2O. Count atoms on the each side. They are not enough potassium atom on the left side. So we can solve the problem by multiplying KOH by 2. So we can get the formula is 2KOH plus H2SO4 to form K2SO4 plus H2O. They are not enough hydrogen and oxygen at all on the right side. So solve this problem by multiplying H2O by 2. So we get 2H2O. Now all at all on left side balance by all at all on the right side. So we have to add state of matter. 2KOH in the form of aqua plus H2SO4 in the form of aqua to form K2SO4 in a form of aqua plus H2O in a form of liquid. So, this is the example for the exam question. Balance this equation. Where we have is given the question is Mg plus O2 to form MgO. So, what you need to do Based on the rule given, magnesium on the left consists of one atom and oxygen consists of two atoms. But on the right hand side, you can see magnesium is only one atom and oxygen equals to one atom. So for oxygen, left side has two atoms, oxygen, but right side has one atom of oxygen. So, equation is not balanced. Again, oxygen on the left with two atoms. Oxy meanwhile, oxygen on the right is one atom oxygen. So, equation is not balanced. This can be resolved by multiplying oxygen on the right by two. So, you can get oxygen on the left is two atoms. And oxygen on the right, you have to multiply by two to get two atoms. So, when you can see this, therefore, if you put 2 here, it's become magnesium will become 2. And oxygen also will become 2. We cannot put 2 after the magnesium 2O. Oh, no, we have to put 2 in front of magnesium to make it equivalent. So, that's why the problem can be solved by multiplying magnesium by 2. So now we have to multiply magnesium with 2 so we can get 2 atoms of magnesium and magnesium on the right also we have to multiply by 2 atoms so we can get 2 magnesium. So magnesium from the right 2 atoms oxygen on the right and then oxygen on the left is also 2 atoms and magnesium on the right consists of two atoms and oxygen on the on the right is also two atoms. So after balance the chemical equation, the formula will be 2Mg plus O2 to form 2MgO. So this is the answer to balance this equation for this statement. So, this is the simplest question ever for the equations, for the formula and equations. So, you can easily score, you can easily get answer this correct among all the equations in the chemistry. So, please practice very well 
and understand the rules very well. With that being said, I would like to end my presentation and wish you all the best in your study. Hope you are clear with the presentation of the subject matter. You can get the details or customized notes by clicking Zoom Study Instagram. Last but not least, please press the thumbs up like button, subscribe to Jom Study La YouTube channel, and follow me at Jom Study La Instagram. Thank you very much.